you're here at Villa Park, we're going to see one of the only three unbeaten teams so far in the first division. Chelsea, who are today going to play in white, up against Aston Villa, a team that's in some sort of trouble. But at least, although they were knocked out of the League Cup in midweek by West Bromwich Albion 6 1, they did win their last league game away at Blackpool, two goals to nil. Now, if we could have a look at the Villa side, playing in the rough 4 2 4 system, which they will uh, probably use, which helps people to understand the way the game is played far more than setting them out in the old-fashioned 2-3-5 system. Man to watch number nine, uh, Hitley, a centre forward much admired throughout the country. And also number seven, McLeod, who had such a sparkling game last week. That then is the Aston Villa side. Now Chelsea have brought along a lot of their supporters, They've changed from their normal colours. As I said, today we'll play in white shirts. And the Chelsea side will play in a loose 4-3-3 formation. But number 10, Cook, will be going back into the middle line quite a lot. He's the man they signed from Dundee at the back end of last season. Very fine player indeed. You'll notice the substitute, Alan Harris, is the brother of number 6, the captain, Ron Harris. Those then, the two teams. Chelsea, the team right up with the leaders. There's our skipper number six, Ron Harris. And so on a fine afternoon, we are all set for the start of the match of the day. Aston Villa against Chelsea. And it's Chelsea, the kickoff. Chelsea wearing white, remember, not their normal dark shirts. And not even making a pretense of having five forwards, even from the lineup. Boyle has dropped back. Boy wearing number seven. So how could anybody refer to him as an outside rider? Some people still try to do. Osgood and now Holland. It's very fine. Number four. Graham playing against his old club. Graham number eight used to play for Villa. Livenhoek reading that spin well. Out of Deacon, the Villa captain. A cook. Referee this afternoon, incidentally, Mr. R.F. Pritchard of Salisbury. Hinton. Creedy. Now Boyle. This Osgood. Young, elegant player. No doubt about the referee's decision then, is there? Springboarding away, this is Aitken. And Aitken pushing Ron Harris in the back. Free kick to Chelsea. This is Charlie Aitken. Free kick to be taken by Kirka. And there's Bobby Tamling, the scorer. What a splendidly constructed goal made by Boyle and Cook, and scored by Tamling. So 
one goal to nil. Chelsea lead. Ten minutes gone. And so the Chelsea supporters all live in a blue submarine, as they tell us with their song. Ringo Starr lives in a yellow submarine, but the Chelsea fans, of course, live in a blue submarine. The normal colours of their club. Number eight, Park, tick, we kick for the love. decided that that was an accident that happened so it's not penalized coming forward but this is all part of the Chelsea plan that are allowing them to come forward and Chelsea building their strength from defence such as that ball from Osgood up to Graham attacked by Slim and Hook he was fouled though by Graham held when they were both down free kick to Villa Chelsea allowing Villa to come forward quite often too often Villa being caught in possession Chelsea squad. And play as the throw to Chelsea. Throw to Chelsea who lead by one goal to nil. And judging by the noise being made from the terraces, you'd think that um, everybody here was a Chelsea supporter. Deacon. This is Chatterley. Now Aitken. <laughs> Chelsea moving so well off the ball. And so many of them finding space. Chelsea man has the ball, he's two or three men he can pass it to. Osgood. 
Osgood fouled by Wright. Tambling to take the free kick. Osgood. That's a nasty up and under. Boyle, 2-0. John Boyle makes it 2 0 for Chelsea, about 17 minutes gone. <laughs> Things looking distinctly black for Aston Villa at the moment. Hateley. So far, there's been no threat of any punch from the Villa forward line. Way goes Cook now. Graham up with him. Tambling up there too now. Challenge in midfield. What was a nasty tipping ball? I thought then that Benetti had touched it, but Mr. Pritchard is just as definite that it's going to be a goal kick. Chelsea fans, there's no bounds, they're just chanting, Woosnam's gone to America. Who oh, Woosnam, who last season was a Villa player. There's the line of this Chelsea defence, back line, and McCready moving out of it now. on Osgood. 20 minutes gone. Free kick to Chelsea who lead two goals to nil. Under 11. Tamling is he going to take it? The Preedy there with him and Holland. Footballer will probably accuse Chelsea today of being defensive. Well, Chelsea got two goals, but then 
whenever the danger threatens, they come back and pack in defence, and that's why Villa don't know how to move forward against them in the penalty area. certainly proving today what a lot of people have suspected that when people talk about attacking football what they mean really is kick and rush Chelsea playing attacking football but it's far from kick and rush yeah, McCready Tambling all good fluid stuff by Chelsea Still one Villa banner waving. Looking rather sad now. Though. Scott. Forward to Deacon. Now Aitken. And the line hit his head. Hit me. Middleton Chapel Good move by Villa. Well, Lou Chatterley, there he is. Deserved a goal then. by Deacon, the Villa captain. Now Tyndall. Number 10 is Chatterley. Chelsea much stronger in the tackle. And Osgood to Tamling. Tamling's got to do it on his own. And he can do. So Bobby Tamling makes it 3-0 for Chelsea. There's Bobby Tambling, the second goal he scored in this match. And 38 minutes gone. Seven minutes from half time, Chelsea three up. And kick up court offside. successful season. This is the first time they've conceded three goals in a league match this season. In fact, they'd only conceded six goals before today's match. And now, five minutes from half-time, they're 3-0 down. Hitley to McLeod. It's going to hit them. away for Chelsea. Collins. Osgood. Collins. Onside. Thank you. 
Cavella, up to Chatterley, and McLeod. Breaking down Kirk up free kick to Chelsea. And the Chelsea fans really taking the Mickey out of Villa now by just singing the tune of strolling. And that really is what Chelsea are doing, they're strolling through this match. Deservedly 3 0 up. Much the better for There's Graham. Graham again, maybe a shot for number four. William Zabert tumbling. Four. Tumbling just three minutes before half time. 4 0. Chelsea in the lead. Tamling's got three of them. And who would be with us in the Villa goal making such a fine save? Nobody there to help him. Villa being given a lesson now by Chelsea. This is Kirk up to Hollins. Oh dear there, Hollins. Scott. It may again. Hadley out to Scott. Where's Hickey? There he is, number nine. And then Benetti with him. Brilliant goalkeeper. We're now playing the time added on put injuries, stoppages. Time now with Aston Villa in dire trouble. Four goals to nil down. Anybody who wants to know the difference between the modern football and the old fashioned stuff, you really see it this afternoon. Chelsea, the modern team against Villa, the old fashioned team. And Chelsea are letting Villa come forward right to the Chelsea penalty area, and then with this economical football of theirs, Chelsea are just breaking away and really doing as they like. There's no doubt about it, Chelsea well on top in this match, so I suppose some people will still go away and say, but Villa did more of the attacking. What on earth does that mean? This match. He dictated the tactics, played it simply beautifully. <laughs> Pattern of the second half uh, settling down the same as the pattern of the first. Villa coming forward, but then just being trapped by Chelsea, who 
dictate when and how quickly they move on to the attack. Number 10 is Chatterley. Pushing right. You get Aston Villa. Remember, Aston Villa conceded six goals in seven matches before today. Now they can conceded four in this match. Villa man has the ball in a dangerous situation. There's a Chelsea fellow there to come into the tackle. Now then, Chatterley. Notice once again, you see, hate they got the ball in the air, but there's nobody sharp enough to take advantage of it in the rest of the Villa front line. Aitken played a brave game for the outclassed Villa. Scott to Chatterley. Tindall to McLeod. Right in all area there, isn't it? Park. Number two, right. Chelsea break. I mean, nine men in defence. That's Cook. The Tamling. Tindall to right and now Park. Pressure, of course, on the Chelsea player now. They can they, they cool, very relaxed. Ten minutes of the second half gone. Chelsea lead 4 0. Number six is Deacon. This is Chatterley, number ten. McLeod, a goal. And Villa don't even bother to congratulate the scorer, Johnny McLeod. And there's Hatley, the man who, first of all, forced the defence into an error. We have enough to save. There was McLeod to put it in, so it's 4 1. Now, in the Chatterley. And it is! Now, then, this has put it. This has put the different. Collector, uh, cool. complexion on it. Hatley the scorer. And 
so Villa with two goals inside 60 seconds but hold of the game and twisted it right round and for the first time in the match we see some enthusiasm from the Villa supporters before this we didn't even know they were here now Cook this really is what the game needed because he's dying on his feet with Chelsea coasting to victory now they've got to work hard Graham Osgood Graham unheard of chance now El Platz and Villa, Villa. Uh, here comes Aitken. This is Aitken. It's getting really living now. Tindall, number four. Hakeley. What a brilliant effort by the centre forward. What a splendid play he is. Tindall, one cook, free kick to Chelsea. Free kick being taken by Kakup. Bella playing with the real spirit now. Deacon. Number three, Aitken. Aitken had a fine match for them. Right from the start. Scott. Chelsea watching Hatley closer than ever now. They linked twice and Villa got a couple of goals. Here goes Hatley again. Four two now. Chelsea lead. It's tumbling. Graham. Now Cook. He's got Osgood on his right. Surging forward on a tidal wave of enthusiasm now. That's a change for Villa Park these days. Park, number eight. McLeod. And the corner. Chelsea looking rather disturbed now. And the Villa fans really making a noise now, but why they didn't do this at the start when Villa really needed the support. It is hit the ball. Tittle. Well, it's certainly not Villa's afternoon. as if they've gone off the boil and it's very very difficult to hit the old pan once you have gone off the boil. Oh, what a 
incredible ball to Cook. Scott fouled by Kirkham. Free kick to Billow. Aitken ran into space well, got himself unmarked. Feet up, we get to Chelsea. gets his own fourth and it's 5-2 for Chelsea this at a moment when Chelsea looked as if they could be slipping into trouble and of all people to throw the goal away Aitken has had such a fine game in the Villa 11 he's matched that up a personal triumph for Bobby Tamling here he is four goals he's got Chelsea, here's McCready. Oh, it's 56. Oh, what a miss. George Gray began his first class career in England on this ground as a Villa player. And he's missing a chance like that. Tindall to McLeod. Right. Hinton showing how how sweeper up should work. Boyle to McCready.
Graham. Graham moving away. Now up to Osgood. It's Graham on his left. Sampling rolling into the middle. when it looked as if they might cause a bit of trouble when they got two in a minute but no doubt about it they've been well and truly wiped and onto the field has come Alan Harris and who do you think has gone off the five goal man it's Bobby Tamling has gone off well he had his uh, stockings rolled down he must have been having so Bobby Tamling is off and Alan Harris off. Osgood. There's Alan Harris. Osgood. Well, I suppose you're entitled to a rest for the last 12 or 13 minutes when you've got five goals away from home, aren't you? Number 11, Scott. This is Tindall. Deacon. Deacon. This is Alan Harris, the Chelsea substitute. but being played up in the front line does it matter now with his side 6-2 up this is Hately, a man who doesn't deserve to be on the losing end of a 6-2 score in defence to stop any hope of a third villa goal leaving Graham upfield there's Graham slip and hook with him that's Graham he's going to do it all his own on his own with a minute left Yeah. 
step is Scott. Hitley. This man of Hitley is fantastic. There he is. The man with the stockings down, number nine. Number 10 is Cook. Now we're in the extra time added on for stoppages, injuries. Ron Harris to his brother, Alan. And the whistle goes for the end of the game. Uninvited, the Chelsea fans streak onto the pitch and they, I think they're going to congratulate Bobby Tamling on the far side but Bobby Tamling who went off injured I think with cramp won't want too many people right. <laughs>